Hey y'all, welcome to another vlog. <laughs> you want to say it? Go ahead. <laughs> welcome to another vlog. So my girls wanted to open up the vlog with me. Um, so if you are new here, my name is Pauline Snow. This is Chloe Snow and this is Chastity Snow. And like I said, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Like, share, all of that good stuff. Yay. So starting this vlog off with the girls, uh, let's see. I There's one thing I know that's going to be in this vlog, and um, it's going to be, I'm going to be taking a trip to uh, the paint store uh, so I could get some sample colors for my wall, my accent, accent wall in the dining room. And then I'm going to show you guys the different shades I get and I'm going to put them on there and then definitely want your opinion on which one to go for. Um, so can't wait to show you that. And then also I planned to actually have um, someone from Rainsoft was supposed to come out this week, actually on Thursday, uh, to retest the water. And I had to reschedule, reschedule it for next Friday. So that should actually get in the next vlog. Um, the retesting of my water softener. What are you saying? Huh? You want to talk? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, what you want to say? Stop making faces. So my girl's got a new, freshly new hairdo. Chloe hair came out, and it's actually going coming back in really well. Ma, and chastity ma, here ma, is just thick, ma, very ma, thick. Ma, Chloe has ma, soft hair. Ma, yes. Ba ba. Yeah. Ba ba. Yeah. Ba ba. So I'm all gonna be. I'm also gonna be doing. Ma, uh, I'm probably gonna be doing a little cleaning. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna make it into the vlog, but I would definitely. Um, I would if I can fit it in here. I will. And then I finally created that list from the last vlog when I took you guys through the tour of the home to look at all the flaws after being in the in the home for one year. Um, so I got that list created and I sent it off to I sent it off. Chastity wanna leave. I sent it off. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, it's not a lot of things as you guys saw, um, but yeah. So I'm just waiting for them to get back in contact me in contact with me to uh, schedule an appointment for someone to come out and review all of my claws. Mm. All right. Okay. Anything you want to say yeah. before you get off the camera? Because this is it. You may come back to say bye, but I don't know. Bye. Okay, Chastity has already left, so it's Chloe. All right, so let's get into this vlog. It's a new day. New day! All right, I got up so early this morning. Uh, my plans were to try to clean my bathroom in the master suite before the kids got up, but that didn't happen. So I thought about, I should just get up and go to the store, get my stuff for my meal prep. So I actually just got back from Sprouts. So just kind of put the things away. Just got like my usual stuff that I meal prep with. Um, I'm going to take this, I'm about to take this uh, black seed. Well, I don't know how many of you guys take this, but if you don't know, black seed oil here, let me pull it up. I don't know if it's blurry, but black seed oil is actually really good for your skin. Um, so if you're looking for great skin, um, I recommend you taking it. So I didn't, I tend to take a teaspoon. No, you can't have none, baby. I take a teaspoon of this daily and I take it just like that straight. It doesn't have a an acquired taste, but if you take it and drink something behind it, it's better. So I usually drink um, my alkaline water. I usually drink water behind it, um, which helps, which helps a great deal. So I'm about to, before I, so I told you guys when I opened up the vlog that um, this vlog will mainly be about me going to the paint store and deciding on um, a paint color in the green family. So you guys know I'm looking for a really nice uh, green 
nothing too light or too dark, but something that's still going to give off that moody vibe, uh, whether it's in the daylight or at night. Um, so yeah, so y'all be going along with me to Sherman and Williams, um, to the paint store. But before I head out, I am, I got a taste for some, um, for some melon. So before I head out, I'm going to actually cut this. So you guys, I got this, um, this tool here and it's supposed to be great for cutting, you know, any type of melon, watermelon, this melon, cantaloupe, whatever. And... It works. So I tried it. The first time I got this, I did try to use this on cutting like the cantaloupe and also this and obviously the watermelon. And I feel like this works great cutting watermelon, maybe the best because, you know, watermelon is like really, really soft. And you suppose that like this thing here, it is, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Um, but the, you know, the way they show things, showcase things on a, on a, um, on social media, they make it look so, so easy. So easy. And then you get home and you try to be like, oh yeah, I can, I can, I can rock with that. And you be like, what? This thing is not as easy as it looks. So I'm gonna cut this, I'm gonna cut this melon. My daughter's been, let me put this up. My daughter's been, Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm gonna tell you. I can't wait, I'm gonna share my story with you. Look at this, I don't know if you guys can see. But I naturally have a small waist. I'm gonna share my story, my weight loss journey, my weight loss story with you. And some upcoming vlogs. I'm not gonna do it now, but I will say this, I've been on this weight loss journey since, I'm gonna say, serious, like really sincere, since the beginning of January. Yeah. And I lost a significant amount of weight. Um, so, and I will share this. Before even that, I would say my, my lowest weight in all my life has been 134. And I had gotten all the way down to a size six. And I'm gonna tell you, that was before kids too. And kids contributed to my weight gain, but I can't, I, you know, I'm not gonna say that they're, they're like, um, the, the, like they're a hundred percent, cause it was me. Cause every time I got pregnant, I'm gonna tell you, I'll be honest. My brain, something turn up, something turns on in my brain and say, eat whatever you want. It <laughs> does not matter, literally. And that's what I did. Ate whatever I wanted. And so my brain was like, oh, I'm pregnant. I'm going to have extra this, extra that. Mommy. So let me show you. I'm going to show you guys this thing. Because I, when I use it on this, on this type of melon before, the melon was actually kind of hard. So maybe that's probably why it didn't work as best. And I'm going to try it again. I'm going to take these seeds out. See? My daughter loves this. My daughter Chloe. She loves this. How do you guys cut your watermelon? Because before I had this, and not watermelon, but your melons. Before I had this, I actually, um, before I had this, right, this tool here, I would just use a knife, cut it in half, and cut it into chunks, nothing really special. But, we're gonna see, I'm gonna, oh, I'll put it in here. So look, so this is it. And you're supposed to, here, let me move the camera up closer. So you guys can like see me do this. Bye. Oh, you got it. Oh, hold on. You guys can see. I'm just moving it down. You guys can see me do this. So you supposed to? They make it so easy. You supposed to take this thing. See, it's not as. And you supposed to go like. See, I can't do it. Mom, my daughter over there having a bowel movement. My daughter. Daughter Chasm. It's so funny when kids. This thing, look, see, this is what I try to tell you guys. You see this? This is what I'm saying. When I use this on my watermelon, it just works so much better. 
And I was just like, I gave up. I gave up. They advertise it. It's funny. Okay. They advertise it that you can use this on any anything, but I go quicker just using a knife, seriously. But I would continue to use it on a watermelon though, because I do like I actually do like how it does the watermelon. Mommy, you, hmm? Mommy, get better for me. Hmm? And you like my feet. Oh, I picked out a good one. You guys know with melons, they iffy. If you don't know how to pick out a melon, sometimes you, sometimes you get good ones here. That's mine. Sometimes you get good ones and then sometimes you get bad ones. So I got the melon. I got this melon. And I also got the cantaloupe. So I'm gonna cut both of these. I'm gonna cut, cut them all and I'm gonna package them. Put them in this container. Hopefully Mommy. my daughter won't eat them all. Mommy. But this is a good, this is a really good one. Hmm? You want a baby towel for me? Hmm? You want a baby towel for me? I ain't want a baby towel over there. Paper towel? Mm-hmm. All right, hold up. See, you guys see how I'm doing? This is how I usually do it. That tool. Mom, that tool I'm not working it. on this. Chastity! You spit, you spit that water out? Yeah. No, get off. No. Chassie. All right, you guys. I'm gonna finish cutting up this cantaloupe because I know you guys don't want to just see me do this. I know you guys are anxious to see me in them paint colors. So I'm gonna finish up cutting this up and then I wanna see you guys in Sherwin Williams. All right, so I made it here to Sherwin Williams paint. So I am gonna go in there. Hopefully, I will go in there. There are some colors that strike my eye, and we'll see how this goes. I think I wanted to get a paintbrush because I, I don't know if I have one. I don't know where it is. But see you inside. Oh, look at all the colors. So. So here's the greens. These are the greens. So I'm like really gonna have to think through this because I don't want to rush picking out colors, which is why I'm gonna get gonna take my time. I, de I intentionally did not bring my baby girl because she would have been all over the place. I already have to. Oh good, stay over there and paint. Oh good, look they have something for the kids to do. Why my while well, customer shop? That's so perfect. Oh my goodness. So. These look like here to be a little more moody. Obviously the darker ones and the ones up top is a little bit too bright. Um, so, let me see. And then they have like, I see they have like uh, color guides. Well, this is pretty warm neutrals. I should take this for something else. Maybe, I don't know, but I like neutrals. I'm just going for when I get to paint uh, paint other areas at a home. And this looks like this is so these are all the dramatic colors. So I'm gonna take a look at this. I'm guessing let me make sure I don't see anything else. Yep, stay over there and paint. We got blank walls. Eight. But that's the toy I got. Yep. Go back over there, Chloe. Okay. I love how they have this set up. So you can't go in like Home Depot and Lowe's. When you specialize in something, you definitely can come and get a little bit more. But this is, I'm thinking dramatic is more of a moody, a moody um vibe. Like I'm just looking there and everything is like dark and edgy. It's a great fall color. Here's my greens. So I don't know if I wouldn't I want that green and black and white looks so nice. But I don't want that shade of green. Garden spot. 
this is pretty but you really have to go and put this on a wall to kind of like get a feel of like what it's going to look like in your lights that you have in your home one second i know in your home because honestly trying to pick out a color in here that like so it's very bright in here and you want to get a feel of what it looks like you know in darker light at night and obviously in the daylight so yeah, look at that blue it's pretty and i love the gray so all right so let me look over at the walls the color samples on the wall and see what i what i get be right back all right so these are the greens um that i like but not sure which still which one to go with so i'm gonna get some samples um and this looks really dark this is dark hunter green um this is vogue this one is can you read that? Rockwood? I can't even see that. This is, but it's a dark green. These are lighter. Like this is the olive grove. Get, get off of that, Chloe. This is palm tree, palm leaf. This is sage green. So sage is gonna be on the lighter side. Um, this is oak moss. This actually may go like really well with the chairs that I have, but I'm definitely gonna get a sample of this one. And then this is um. Secret Garden green. So these are the greens that I like, um, but not sure which one to go with. So, uh, like the final, final. Like I know the samples. If anything, I can get these all the samples and then, you know, paint it. Go back to the house and paint it and let it sit for a couple of days to see how I feel about it. Um, yeah. So my, my accent wall is going to have different colors on it for a little bit. But which one do you like? I know it's hard to tell, but what's your favorite one? Let me know in the comments. All right, so I want to go get some assistance and getting some samples. But I'll see you guys back at the house. And you guys will see which ones I got. So I'm back from Sherman and Sherman Williams paint store and I'm gonna show you guys what I uh, got from there in a second and the colors that I actually selected to sample. Um, but what do you know? I come back and I had a package from Anthropology and guess what color it is? Shade, it's green. So I got this dress, really cheap. It was on sale and I think maybe wear it on Sunday to church. But here, let me see. Let me move the camera. Maybe you guys can see it a little better. I would try it on, but I want to see how it looks. But since we're doing green today for paint colors, I just wanted to show you guys because this is a green dress, like floral green, and it's a pretty green. It looks like it matches. Well, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But it looks like it can match one of the sample colors that I got. The paint colors, so really cute. Um, okay, so let me do a quick little haul and show you show you what move the camera. I'm gonna do a quick little haul and show you guys what samples I got. These are the samples. I'm probably gonna lay them out and show you again. But this is one color. So this is the Secret Garden uh, color sample that I got. And then this is the other one. This is the, um, oh my God, I cannot see. The, old one. the Rookwood. I guess that's R O O K. Where my eyesight? Dark green, but this is a dark green color. Um, I got five samples and this one 
is oak moss. Excited with that. So you guys remember I had a, a lot of some other ones I showed you earlier, but I didn't go with. And this one is sage green. This is more of a lighter color. And then this one is oh, sorry, this one is palm leaf. So yes, I got those samples. Um, and so this is what they. It it kind of sucks because this is a lot of paint for sampling, right? These were like eleven dollars and ninety five cent a container. I just think that's like way too much to sample a color because obviously whatever color I don't go with is just going to be extra paint sitting around. So I don't know. Maybe I can make use of it on something else. I don't know. But and then I also had to get because I wasn't sure if I had a roller. So I just I just got a little roller brush, a mini one and some extra extra. uh Actually, what do they call these? The things you cover the rollers with. Got some extra, extra of these. And then I also, I also just bought me this bucket just so I can put water in it. Um, when I'm done, I can just sit the the painted uh, rollers in here. And then because I'm sampling five colors, I didn't want to spend time. What I didn't want to do was every sample I do on the wall, go and rinse out the roller and blah, blah, blah which is why I got multiple rollers. Um, and then I, I just went and got these little pans. So I'm gonna set it up with the five different colors in here. Again, cause I didn't wanna like clean it out just because I'm just sampling um, and just, it'll go faster. And so I got, it came in a pack of three. I just got two of these. These were like $6 for three packs. Um, and so that's my haul from Sherwin, Sherwin Williams. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going, yes, I'm going to get my get set up here, set up all the colors, um, get my brush and everything ready, and then I will be back with everything. And you guys will see me put this all on the wall. And I'm trying to get it done. Uh, while it's daylight because I definitely want you guys to see the colors in the daylight and then I'm going to come back um, when this you know the sun is down and it's dark outside and we'll take a look at the colors again and see how it looks in the dark but when there's no light out okay be right back let me get myself set up okay so I have everything all set up so I actually just realized I actually had six samples. I showed you guys earlier. I thought it was five, but it's actually six. Um, so the one that I was missing that I didn't show you was the olive, the olive grove right here. Um, so there's like six samples. Um, so this is what it's interesting because even with the actual paint color versus the sample, the sample card, it's just it's already looking different. So this is going this this sampling is going to be testing on the wall gonna be interesting uh, but this is so this is let me just show you guys this is the mm, you cannot see this is the secret garden the first one the second one is the uh, the palm leaf and the third one you guys see there is the Rookwood dark green one the fourth one is this um, what did I say? This is the, oh my goodness. Why, who found this? Very easy to look up. Well, you know what? Oh, this is the, uh, the Olive Grove, the one I didn't show you in the beginning. And then this one is the Sage Green. And then this one is the oak moss. So that's how the colors look out of the uh, sample container. But I just want to show you guys something because I did put some two of the colors up against the chair. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. So this is the oak moss. And I just put it close to the chair. So it almost looked like a perfect match there. Um, and then I also looked at the, 
Actually, it was three colors I paired it with. This is the sage green. So that's pretty. That's sage, the second color. And then I'm also going to put the palm leaf next to it. Because I thought... Now, I'm not trying to be matchy-matchy with my chairs, but... Um, but this is the palm leaf. So... Yep. Um... I guess I'm not going to show you the rest of the colors, huh? Let me show you the other three colors. Because I didn't even look at it. So this is the secret garden. Next to the chair. And then this is... This one here is the rookwood. This is dark. So that's pretty. I don't know. I don't. I definitely want to be, I think, a shade darker. I don't know. That looks good. Oh, which one I didn't show you? Oh, I didn't do the olive grove. So that's a little light. Let me be a little light, but. All right, so those are the six colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the wall and then I'm gonna come back and show you what they look like. Um, just because it's a little messy. I'm so glad. I almost didn't put any drop cloth down here, but I thought about it. I was like, hmm, I better put something down here because you never know. Then you could kind of see the paint um, dripping off at the side at the bottom. So I'm kind of glad that I decided to do that. They don't really pour easy, which is the unfortunate part. Um, yeah. So I got my bucket of water over there. So I'm all set to go. So I, go, I think I'm going to do both sides. I'm going to do this side with the window. And then I'm also just going to do that side because it doesn't have a window there to see how it also reflects on the right. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I'm actually going to come back on and show you guys the finish application of the samples. Just because I just, I'm looking at my, my card in here and it's actually running low. I need to delete some stuff off of here. So, and I need to show you guys what the, I want to show you what it looks like and also close out the vlog. So let me, um, let me turn it off. I'll be right back. Okay, here are the samples on the wall. Um, so obviously the last one I did to the right here, um, I did a little bit more cause honestly I was just trying to get as much as the paint out of the brush as I possibly could. So I was just like, what the heck? Just go ahead and paint it. Obviously this is all going to get, and once I decide on a color, this is all going to get um, wiped away anyway. So I was a little sloppy, as you see in the bottom, which I'm not too concerned about because the wall has to get painted on the final color. So not too bad. And I'm just going to repaint the baseboard there. So I'm okay with that. Um, so yeah, so here are, this is what it looks like. So this is on the, the left side of this middle window, um, all, all six colors. One second, Chloe. All six colors. And then, let me go on the other side. I'll get it. Just wait a second. And then, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like on the right side of the window. Um, so again, you have that last sample color that I used. Um, I just did more space to get rid of the paint out of the brush. But... It is six colors up there. Um, yep. And then again, a little drip. Um, so li listen, if I didn't put this down here, you see all this stuff on here? That's what would happened. It would have got my carpet, the floor. It would have been a hot mess. Um, so I'm glad. And then I just got a little bit on this wall. But that's okay because these walls are going to get repainted. But as I was actually putting these samples up here, I was actually thinking, should I do like all, all, like, all of the walls the same color? Like whatever X, whatever color that I choose for here, should it all be the same color? Like even by the windows, I'm just thinking about that. Um, just so that maybe the whole dining room could have a moody vibe to it. So I don't know. Like turn it down, some Chloe. I'm recording. I don't know. I don't know if just having it on the one accent wall if that would be moody enough for the entire dining space um but i just was it just popped into my head maybe i should just color all 
all of the walls. So I guess like technically one, two, which is the accent wall, and then the wall over there by the windows. Should I just color it all the same color and then it'll, it'll look even moodier in here in this space. So let me know what you guys think. So again, the colors, I gotta remember this. This is Secret Garden, the first one. The second color is palm leaf. It's a little lighter than what I thought it would turn out to be, but it still has to dry. And this finish on here is satin finish. Um, it's similar to eggshell. And so whichever one I decide, that is the one that I'm going to get. Um, and then this middle one is that rook wood. It's like a dark green. This fourth one here is the olive, cove, olive grove. This fifth one is sage green. And then this last one is um, oak moss. So I don't know. I don't know. I look, like when I look at it, I feel like the darkest, honestly, is the um, the secret garden is the darkest one. Um, so I'm actually I'm leaning towards the secret garden, or yeah, I don't know about the palm leaf. I'm thinking the secret garden and the the oak moss. And maybe sage green. I don't know. Those are like my top three choices. So let me know what your top choices are. Definitely put it in the comments. And then also let me know if you guys think I should just do this entire dining space, this color here, um, to give it more of a moodier feel. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts. Um, but yeah, now I just got to go clean up this mess. Oh my gosh, you guys, here's a tip. If you are going to paint and you're gonna wash out your brushes, make sure you put gloves on because I was washing out the brushes and I actually burnt my hand, like literally, like my fingers from touching that paint and trying to wash it out. So um, just make sure you use gloves. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this vlog. Sorry you guys didn't get a chance to see me actually paint it on here because um, I'm actually running out of space on my card. Um, but I got it on the wall, so I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna let this sit a bit and then, oh, actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna close it out yet. Let me track back. I'm gonna, so because it's still daylight, I'm actually, I wanna show you guys what it looks like in the dark with my, with my chandelier light on. So I'm actually gonna come back when the sun goes down and it's darker outside. Um, so I'll be right back. All right, so it is dark outside. Um, so I'm back to show you what the colors look like in the dark, well, when there's no daylight. Um, natural light and my chandelier is on um, so here have here this is how the color is popping off the wall um, so this is how the the dark the secret garden looks uh, this is the palm leaf uh, this is how this is looking uh, this is the uh, it's gotta try to remember these the rock or the rookwood dark green uh, this is the uh, olive groove or olive grove uh, color and this is the sage sage green and this is the oak moss uh, so this is how they're looking um, so this is again this is with the chandelier and I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the chandelier off and then I want to turn on my recess lights Okay, so those are the recess lights. This is, you can't see it, but I have it on like ultra, ultra dim. So I'm going to raise it a bit. And it's gonna go a little closer. That's how it's looking. And then let's just look at the other side. the other side so I don't know I'm still feeling the the uh I'm actually well I said I said I, there were like three of the colors but I think now I'm feeling I'm leaning more heavily towards the oak moss um for how it looks in the day and then also now at night 
Um, the palm leaf looks a little brownish. It gives a little brown tone at night. Um, and then this is this uh, olive grove is a little bright. And this um, sage is given a gray tone during the day. And even like at night, it looks a little darker gray. Um, and then this one just looks, this looks really, really dark. The secret garden isn't bad, but it just looks really, really dark. Um, so I think it's, I don't know. But let me, um, let me, the recess light, I'm gonna turn them up some more. So that's like really, really bright. So now you can see a lot more of the green. So you guys look at the sage green, it's just coming off grayish, like a gray undertone. Um, but it's really pretty. It is really, really pretty. I don't know, I, I may consider this um, in the partial bath. Uh, if not, I may go with um, the color I put out here. But uh, yeah. So you can see a little more of the green, obviously, when the light is on. And then this is how it looks at the bottom. I kind of put, that's the uh, oak moss color. It has some extra I just wanted to. And let me go on the other side. See you guys. It's kind of the same, not really too much of a difference, but just a different view. There's no window over there. Huh? Yeah. So let. What do you guys think? Let me turn this off. Turn back on me. My chandelier. So my chandelier is from. Uh, if you don't know, my chandelier is from RH uh, Restoration Hardware, and Restoration Hard RH. They have like their. Their style is minimalist, moody, um, there. So this light, if you get a light fix from them, it's like you don't really get, cause they give you the bulbs and obviously the bulb is not that bright. So because it's supposed to give off this moody vibe, um, moody, romantic, like really nice. So this is the brightest it gets. Uh, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. But yeah, that dark, I think I'm liking the oak moss. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Which, which one of the six colors you think I should go with? Would love to hear your thoughts and input. But I am this time gonna truly, truly close out this vlog. So thank you, thank you for tuning in. If you, again, if you are new here, my name is Pauline Snow. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, I do post a video every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Um, so definitely set that notification. And just don't forget to like and share. Um, so until next time, bye bye